Hello everyone, we've just finished a conference here in Scottsdale, Arizona. So we wanted to say hello to you and I wanted to tell you what we studied was Ephesians 6.12. We taught on that this week and we had some, uh, some amazing breakthroughs. And uh, if you understand Ephesians 6.12, it says, we fight not against flesh and blood, but principalities against powers against the ruler of darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. So sometimes in your life you're blindsided and all of a sudden you start having these weird feelings and maybe anxiety. And I want you to know that's usually spirits. And what we have to fight is with our warfare is the whole armor of God. So it's the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shoes of the preparation of the gospel, the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith. And then at the end, I really felt like God said, put the garment of praise on. Because in 2 Chronicles 20, 22, it says, when they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the enemy. So I remember when our boys were young, before we would drop them off at school, we taught them to put on the armor of the Lord. And then they teach their children, and that's what we do. We leave a legacy. We teach our children about the armor of the Lord. But today, uh, I want you to fight in, in God's way, not in your way, but in the spirit of the Lord. And there was something I just learned, and in Texas, we have this, it's called a castle wall, and it's the doctrine of self-defense. And actually, it's existed for hundreds of years. It comes from the idea that a man's home is his castle. A person, here's what it says, a person should not have to retreat from a place where they should feel safe. A person should be able to protect themselves and not suffer the consequences of someone else's crime. And you know, this is so interesting because we have this law in Texas and it's in 23 states. And when I was, I was studying about the authority of the Lord, I started thinking about this castle law doctrine. We have this in the spirit realm. It's in the natural, but hey, we have it in the spirit realm because we're supposed to be able to protect ourselves no matter what comes your way. So in the morning, before you even leave your uh, work or, or your uh, home or whatever you're gonna do, put on the whole armor of the Lord. Realize we fight not against flesh and blood, but principalities. But here's the thing, God has given us the armor to put it on where we can fight and we can take authority. When you walk into a place, you change the atmosphere, you change everything because you bring in life, you bring in the glory of God and everything has to change. And I think we forget uh, as Christians, the power and the authority we walk in. The enemy does not want you to know your authority, but once you know your authority, everything changes. You know, I believe there's gonna come a time when you're gonna walk into your office or walk into a store and people are gonna be healed, people are gonna be set free because they see the glory of God. But the only way you can do it is to put on the whole armor, acknowledge the Lord, trust Him, and walk in authority. We live in a crazy world, but God has given us the armor to defend ourselves, to protect ourselves, and to pray over our families, and to take dominion. So we love you today. Study this out, and I wanna give you this scripture, Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against you or your family shall prosper, and those that rise up against, against you shall be condemned or be proven wrong. And I want you to know, we have fought some battles. We have fought some real battles in our life, in our business, in our family, in our life. But you know what? God has been faithful. He's delivered us from everyone, and He will with you. Just acknowledge Him. Just call upon the name of the Lord. Let me say a little prayer. Lord, we just thank you today. I know there are people fighting battles, and I pray that you will remind them to put on the whole armor of God. Lord, we love you today. We trust you today. We know that we are vic have victory, and we're not victims. We are victors in every way. And God, I pray a new anointing on the people watching today, that the glory of the Lord will fill them and encourage them and strengthen them in every battle they will win because that's your promise, your covenant promise. In Jesus' name, amen.